Aren't everybody? No, I'm excited. <laughs> so let's go and charge the Nissan Leaf and we'll take it for a test drive. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for opening this video. I'm Claudia, real estate agent in Jamaica. If you want to sell, or buy, or build real estate, hit the subscribe button. And remember the notification bell. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is heavy, Lynn. No. No, it's not that Okay, heavy. so it's very light. So ladies, look like this thing is for us, you know, made for us. All right, Lynn, so it comes in a little cover here. When you're not using it, you put it on and you hang it up back. Yeah. So this can be like in your garage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're driving your car, you can just charge it. All right, Lynn, so show us. And guess what? You don't, you, you don't have to go to the gas station and deal with the gas attendant or pump attendant or anything. I don't have to back out any more money. How about I don't have to be spending any more money no. to do this? <laughs> yeah. So. This is very handy charger. So you can, everybody can just manage this. So this is the charging port. Oh, that's a charging port in the front right here. So this is the normal, the normal um, exhaust. Normal charging port from the yeah. from your hose. So you just plug it in, press this, thing. and then you'll see over there it will beep and start. Oh, it that the blue light comes yeah. up, right. flashing. Yeah. So it's now charging. Mr. When, Bernard, what is this other one for? So this is really like the supercharger. So this is what you're going to use on those charging ports that is going to be all over the island. Oh. Heavy, and heavy usually one. this will take like 30 minutes or so to fully charge it up to about 80% whenever the battery goes the high down. power charge. So when you're traveling uh -huh. to the country parts, uh -huh. you just stop at the charging at the, port. The charging ports. And okay. you plug in right there. So they're going to charge me for that, right? Mo yes, JPS <laughs> will charge you. But remember. Is it going to be cheaper? It is going to be cheaper. Remember, it's going to be cheaper than petrol. That's correct. Okay. It's probably going or to diesel. cost you less than half the cost in terms of monetary value. Okay, well, so how, how long does it take to charge? This, this charging from this, at home. This charging station here, it usually take, it matters to how much power. Just like your telephone battery, it is charged by percentage. So this car is probably about maybe 60% of power in there now. So this might take about two hours to charge. All right, so let's go and look at the dashboard and then we will see where it's at and then how it is charging. Okay. All right. Right here now we are charging on what you on 220 volt charger basically, right? And it is showing that it's gonna take two hours to fully charge the, the car to 100 percent. If you use a 100 volt, mean 110 volt um, charging current, it's gonna take five hours to charge. So you can charge on 220 volts or you can charge on 110 volts. But on 110 the it takes. Is quick. It's much, the 220 volt is much quicker. Yes. What does the 89 mean? 89 is the range. I, according to how much power oh, how you have there. Can go. Yes, you can go 89 kilometers. kilometers, right? You can travel 89 kilometers. So that's usually good enough to run around town for the day. So the 77% means. Is the, 70, the battery is 77% charge. Oh, that's it. It is 77% charge. Alright, so what are those circles at the top? That circle at the top is what you call regenerative braking. When you are driving, it actually, when you're going down a hill, it mm. charges back the battery. Oh. So the power, it have what you call regenerate. You almost don't need to touch the brake pedal while you're it driving. Saves, it saves your energy. It saves energy. So it regenerates back that energy mm. back into the battery that you can use it back. Again. Right. So when you press the pedal, it moves this direction mm -hmm. and you can show how much power you're burning. Mm -hmm. So you can press the gas pedal and save on your power if you know how to drive it and, and watch it. Mm -hmm. And also when you're going down a hill, you can do the regenerative braking and it, it stores back to, power. You don't have to press the brake. What, what is this side showing? My revs? That side is showing um, the temperature of the battery. Okay. Because it has the battery under the bottom of the car. The entire floor of the car the is the battery. battery. Oh. And remember that this is an electric motor. There is no moving parts. Very little moving parts. So you don't you need to... a regular to, engine? No. It's an electric motor. So you don't go to the mechanic to service it. There is no servicing. So how... It's an electric motor and a battery, just like your cell phone. Do you need to service your cell phone? No. Just the battery. So you don't need to change battery. any oil. And There's no, no oil, no engine, no maintenance, zero maintenance. So the only thing is maybe the tires. Maybe tires, and if you mash and up this the pads and, and so this on. pads are like yeah, but it's a water, water for a wiper. And the wiper for the, the water, water for, the for the for the wiper. So are you hold on? So, so are you saying that? With a car like this, and I'm repeating it because it's kind of electric, full I'm electric. To, 
to get it in my brain. Are you saying that this car, I wouldn't need to go to the mechanic to service? No. To change the oil, the no. filters? No. What does it normally change? Oil filters, oil gas filter, filter, air gas filter. filter, air filter. No, it doesn't you happen. You don't need to do that every every month or every no, five thousand kilometers no, or no. three thousand kilometers. And even the brake shoe, because of the regenerative braking. Yeah. It, you don't you, use that. Much you don't brake. use that much brake pads or anything, so you almost will never change the brake shoe. But you if, know you're, so, me, but me, if me, you're in round town, you need to have. Hold on, look at me. Me go go for a test drive. It is so do. This is what you would call the engine, Miss Davis. But this is not an engine, really. Well, this but is it not still have a regular battery. That regular battery is only there to run, so it keeps everything like normal in a normal car, like the headlights, oh. the you know the all of that stuff inside the car. You know, like so there's no use alternator. Then. No, there's no alternator. So in discharge this. this. Yeah, basically. Okay. Right. So this is this is basically the same like the solar inverter and charge controller. Mm -hmm. This is the inverter and charge controller and the electric motor is at the bottom. So this is all electric. It's no mechanical moving parts right here. Oh, it okay. is just it's an electronic board and electronic circuitry is in these parts. And then you have an electric motor. And you know the electric motor just have that one amateur that just spins inside there. Right. And that's it. So Very there's little no have no dipstick. No dipstick. Because there's no oil. <laughs> no oil, what no about power steering. No coolant. But it has regular brake fluid. Brake fluid, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is your this spray bottle. The, the coolant, no, that's not there. Yeah. Well, it does have coolant because the, this coolant here keeps the electric motor cool. Cool, oh. Right, but it's. So you just, have to put coolant in that? Not really. It, you'll never have to touch never these have to things. Touch yeah. it, okay. It's not like Same a mechanic. You don't have to touch the brakes, I don't have to touch the You don't fluid. have to touch that, you don't have to touch anything on this car. But this this battery will go bad and I have to change yes, it? Yes, yes. That battery will go bad like a regular battery. battery yes. Right. But that battery runs the accessories of the cars. So, so, I so if I, if my bat if this battery dies, I can still drive the car. Can I? No. 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 It not we allow it because all the electrical things are going to. Going, go. Oh, okay. The so I still need stuff. to make sure that this battery, battery is okay. Right. It's okay. Right. Okay. But so otherwise, it's like a fuse box, is it? Yeah, fuse box and you know electrical stuff inside there. Uh huh. Wow. It's 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 a very reliable car and um, you know. It looks very clean and uh, it looks less um, complicated. There's no complication. Yeah. There's In terms nothing. of its wiring and all. There is that. no moving parts, no mechanical moving parts or anything. You know, no. a, a regular. So no belt. No, no fan no, belt. No, no, no fan alternator, belt and no water pump. No nothing. It's not all like electric. So you it's can't. Put the, it's put the water to for the windshield. Windshield here. Right. And this but is this one is coolant. It's cooling system for the motor, electric motor, motor. to keep it cool. Nice. So what happens is that you can just imagine if you don't have a lot of mechanical moving parts, mm -hmm. how much is there to go wrong? Right. You know, it's just much. It makes simpler. me wonder why we didn't go this way before. I mean, uh, you know. You know what was the shortcomings? Right. Battery. The we battery never life. Had, okay. Yes, we never had the battery technology that we had today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the difference. That's what made electric cars. Go ahead. Happen. So on the steering wheel of this Nissan Leaf, it has everything. You know. You can turn, turn on, turn off the radio. You can answer telephone. It can hook up through Bluetooth. It have ecosystem, which means that you can, you know, press this and it store it. it economize on the battery you have cruise control you have everything on the steering wheel just like in one of those expensive cars fully powered power windows power mirrors everything is in this car we're looking now at the dashboard inside of a nissan leaf which is an electric car so let's look at this gear stick this looks so spacey it's a burnout all this works so i'm looking at this Right, so, oh, so it, I'm in park now. So there's really no gear as such that you change gear or anything. It just has reverse, mm -hmm. forward, and park. And park. Yes. So DB means forward. So drive. Oh, so, it means drive. Right. So right and then forward. And yeah. then forward. Right. So if I want to reverse, I'm I'm in reverse. So the light changes to and R. And, and, it, and it comes. You know, and, my, and my camera comes up right away. Right, reverse camera. This car has everything in there. So I notice. Mm -hmm. So if I want to drive, 
I'm to go here and, and down. Up, right. And that's dry. And, and that's dry. And it now. shows it on the dashboard. And that's economy mode, meaning you're going to share power or you can take it off economy, economy mode. mode. Okay. And then it has another one. If you do this a second time, mm -hmm. that B mode comes on, which is really for more regenerative braking. It gives you oh. excessive regenerative braking. When you come off the gas, you feel the car literally slowing down. Mm -hmm. And then you will see the, 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 the regeneration happening on the dashboard. All right, so for this, and it also comes with the regular features, ladies and gentlemen, your radio, your AC, a seat of a TV auxiliary mode here, yeah, all, CD player, FM, AM radio, just the same. There, yes. And it also has the ability for you to use your cell phone to answer your cell phone from this steering wheel. Turn right up here. the radio, turn, turn it down, down, change the channels, doing all those all kind, kind of things. things. Cruise, your control. cruise control is also here. Am I on it yet? Mm -hmm. You can do oh, so it, cruise control. Right, but I don't want to be on cruise control. Um, so it have everything here, right? Mm, right, yes. This is actually a Japanese version, so it's still in Japanese. So, you know, there are certain limitations, but, you know, when you oh. buy it from the right. English side. As a matter of fact, Lynn was showing me a cool feature. Yes. Lynn. Translator. Translator. Yeah, that is what we do with all the cars, with all of these things. All right, so, so ladies and gentlemen, if you never know about the translator, I didn't know about it. <laughs> so, right. Mr. Bernard, going to show me here now. So, so there's this app. What's it called? Translator. What you going What's on, the app Lynn? called? Camera. Camera. Oh, this one, camera. Right. So, it's called Translator. And you just put it on the Japanese or Chinese. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Look at that. Speed dial. All right, it tells me. You know, phone registration. Mm -hmm. It tells you everything. So you can translate everything on these Japanese car. You know? So she changed it a while ago. Mm -hmm. And look what happens. Right. So You're seeing everything in English. See, that is the Japanese now. All those Japanese words are there. Mm -hmm. And now we have English. See, information, display, all those things are there. Change mm -hmm. again. Mm hmm so um change to another one um that might give you some more all right that is in japanese let's see what that means that is saying this there is, is no, no usb, USB memory, memory. <laughs> right okay. cool feature all right so we're no we're going to reverse actually everybody so i am to go here and up and my reverse camera will come on i'm not going to use it because i have no clue to use it so hold on, where's my handbrake? My brake. It's, the handbrake is the foot one there, yeah. Press it right there, so yeah. Right. I know this one's still moving even though. Yeah, probably never press it. So the, it, it has what we call, instead of handbrake, you have foot brake, guys. Right. Do you notice about this car though? I don't hear anything. There is nothing to hear. It's almost as if I'm not, the only thing I hear now is a beep beep for the reverse. There is no sound. Sounds like on an airplane. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no sound. When you're pressing. This right. is the type of car. Is it, is it on? Yeah. yeah, is it on? You hear the tires on the road. When you're driving. And the second time, regenerative. Yeah. When you're driving this car, you don't hear um nothing. They have to actually make a buzzing sound. You have the option to turn on a buzzing noise on the outside to make you know it's approaching. Alright, so when I'm driving a new car, usually I try to gauge how much foot I need to give it, right? Um, Alright, cool. Step on it, just step, press on the gas a little, just to feel the power. You know about my seatbelt? No, she's on her. I want my seatbelt. Yes. Mr. Bernard, didn't know I want my seatbelt. Look like I trust you too much. <laughs> So where is all right? So your your indicators and so on are in the same position. Everything is the same. Wiper. This is a wiper and all of that, right? So it's just like a normal car. It's just that it's driven by electric, fully electric. It's nice. You know this, what? This, this is the sound. For the men who like the loud noise vehicles. Huh? No, this is a this is a you know, this is a mature vehicle. Smooth. Very it's smooth. smooth. Yeah. Can you imagine what a what, Tesla... What year is this? 15, 2015. Can you imagine what a Tesla feels like? Can you imagine? Yes. How much is a Tesla? Well... A new Tesla is what? Well, um, I think I see something like 35, all up to 100,000 US. Yeah. All right. The best barbie can go in now. So you should go there, so... Step on it and try to feel it, now. <laughs> you have to you to feel this. No, I have to, I have to feel. I have to get used to the power first. Yes, all right. Nice. Very nice. It thing. handles good too. Yes. Wow. 
this car is such when you drive it and this is a nissan this is a nissan, it's a nissan. my problem is i'm not wrapping my head around so do i need to change things in the engine like drive no. belt and there no, is no there engine. is the no engine it's a battery <laughs> and an electric motor just imagine your blender at home or let's say your, your electric blender at home or your air dryer so how long will it take before how much mileage will i get without anything going wrong well this is 2050 you know when you look at the tesla model of what they are saying the new electric cars they are talking about a million miles that, a that's, million miles that's what they are talking about because there is no maintenance there's no you know there's no you so know, how, what about the battery you know the battery is going the, always goes down on a regular car after a year or so no this is a lithium ion battery just like we did on the cell um so it's not going to go down after a year it will go bad everything nothing lasts forever mm -hmm. but it has a very long 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 life like about 10 years it matters to your driving how much miles you put on it and how you care the battery oh so what kind of care the battery needs you well you shouldn't really discharge the battery to zero you should you know at about 10 percent you should really um oh so you charge it up same is a battery really charging when we plug it in correct? right right and then you so don't, don't drive the car down to zero right mm -hmm. right you want to keep it at 10 20 percent and then recharge it but you just recharge, recharge every day right right yeah and when um, you pull into your garage you just recharge right and in cold environments like abroad and so forth you can damage your battery with the cold cold freezing temperatures and things and heat is also a factor you don't want to overheat your battery you know mm -hmm. so you're driving and you don't want to floor the pedal and just be very aggressive Keep all the it. time right because you know the harder you drive the more you heat up the battery because it actually has a temperature gauge Gage on it. Okay. Right. So, so you don't drive fast then so don't do 120. no no you, it's not the fast but it's the aggressive driving oh it's, you mean like zoom 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 zoom, 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 zoom yeah, it's a press 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 right. everything all over because the place. you also bleed off all the power very quickly yeah like that let me shut that drive right that. right so right. ladies and gentlemen i'm now at 75 percent battery life i'm heading up maxfield avenue so we're going to do this drive to the barbican area tell a lie the car drive nice though yeah man it's a nice car ladies and gentlemen remember to join us on youtube live this sunday at five he told me mm -hmm. and then you can join us on the zoom sessions but not christmas sunday we come back on zoom in january but this sunday christmas sunday you're going to join us on youtube live and this sunday we have a lawyer coming on from richards and richards that's dennis richards he will be coming on and he'll be talking about wills he'll be talking about how to get a quick divorce and he'll be talking about those of you who have unregistered lands meaning you only have a tax paper you don't have no title with your name on it or maybe your parents passed on and they have unregistered land you now want to get it registered so you can have a title or it is your land or your family land then he's going to come on and talk about that process and of course you can always click on our links and get to mr dennis richards so join us on sunday this sunday christmas sunday we come on at five i hope you would have eaten your dinner already <laughs> you told me mm -hmm. you can join us while you eat your dinner right your christmas dinner Oh, would it? Oh, yes, it would have passed. Christmas is Friday. It's tomorrow is Christmas 20. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, join us Sunday. All right, everybody. So, I'm back at base. And I am at 63% battery. So, I need to remember with this vehicle, just like any other vehicle, I am to engage my handbrake. In this case, it's a foot brake. I'm to also put my car in park. I do that. Now in my other car, I would disconnect my seat belt, take my foot off the brake, then I would go here for my keys. Shut up. <laughs> With this car. I don't have none of that, right? Just press a button. Just press a button. Boom. Done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. So we're now going to put back this car on charge so that Lynn can get home. 
What she can't get home at 63 percent, right, Lynn? Mm -hmm. All right, so, right. ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you so much for staying with us on this journey. And we look forward to seeing you on YouTube Live on Sunday, every Sunday. And we also look forward to seeing you in our farm videos. Want to also thank Lynn for showing us her electric car and for giving us the opportunity to do the test drive. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know more about raising goats and sheep and rabbits, rabbits and growing planting, plants. growing things for them to eat, go in the link. You can now go and subscribe to Mr. Bernard's YouTube channel. So the name of it is Trevor Bernard. Just click on the link. Go over there and subscribe. All right. And that's a small ruminants association. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And remember, be great to yourself and buy real estate. Thanks. Bye. Bye.